Wait, 8 has an incredible story to tell that we can all relate in the ongoing pandemic. It's local people, heroic and unselfish acts, who voluntarily quarantined themselves to isolation from the outside world in 17th century to prevent the deadly Black Plague disease from spreading to neighboring communities. Visiting in M Village is like stepping back in time to trace the fascinating tale of how the plague was brought to the White Peak Village in a bolt of infected cloth from London in 1665. My lovelies, in this blog, I'm taking you in some key location such as the Church of St. Lawrence, Plague Cottages, coming up soon in the video. Walking towards the um, EM Hall. Oh, so, so, this is cute. called the Plague Village. Look I think. That <laughs> oh, that's, that's, the small, that's the smallest post office I've seen. <laughs> that's their post office. And it's really like ghostly. Um, you know. This village is so nice. It's so nice and cute and like hardly you would see anyone. <laughs> The houses are like made of, made of stones. Um, so cute. Yeah, so cute. And it's like a ghostly town, to be honest. Yeah, no, no one's here. Except for the cars. Apart from the cars passing by. Um, so. Maybe like this one. Yeah. Courtyard. Shopping. Yeah, it's a shot. Or maybe it's open now. We can have a. I don't know. I think it's open. No, we can just go here first. Oh, you do, you want to stop by now? visitor center that used to be the village talks mainly used by the Eames Barmouth court to regulate the wrongdoings of local lead miners Eames at a glance what to do the 
Plague Story. This is the historic 17th century A.M. Hall, which was built just six years after the plague subsided and was home to the Wright family for more than 11 generations. You know where the museum is? Eh? No, that's where you, they get your um, head cut. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, when you're being punished and cut your head off, you put your both hands there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how barbaric they were back in the day. So the brick house, most of the houses here are brick house. Now managed by the National Trust, Aim Hall is a fine example of a Jacobian manor house with its embroideries, engravings, and library, plus walled garden with seasonal borders, vegetable plots, and open, spacious lawns. Seventh century house. You can only see it from here because it, due to coronavirus, is shot. It's quite big. Just go back and go into eat something have something to eat in here I think it's called the courtyard at EM Hall entrance it smells like something. next door you'll find a courtyard with a craft center selling everything from Hartington cheese to handcrafted jewelry while the battery serves light refreshment and lunch By here to the place called the Knock because um, they selling deli, larder, and coffee and cake. So I have some um, carrot cake and a white chocolate, white hot chocolate. What you've got? I've got sausage roll, roll. <laughs> sausage roll, and cappuccino. So 
sausage roll. This is the Church of St. Lawrence dates back to Saxon times and has an original font and Norman pillars, taught to rest on Saxon foundations. The oldest and most striking features of the churchyard is its 18th century Celtic cross, one of the best preserved examples of its kind in the country. It is decorated with a mixture of Christian and pagan symbols and may have once been a wayside preaching cross. <laughs> Don't say here, I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh my god, I can't oh go. how old the stone is it's called Celtic cross which is 8th century ED after Christ mm. so that's how old should I do that on church side yeah Memorial of supporter of Mumphis and during the plague. This is the one, tomb of Catherine Mumphis who died in the plague. Oh, it's 1666. Look. It's actually massive. Yeah. At least the whole town died in the plague. So this is a whole like cemetery back in 1666. They died, they call it Black, Black Plague. So this is the whole cemetery and the whole village. Most of the population died. Oh my God, it stretched that way. No, it's just, it's just probably repurvish it. That's not, no, it's not new. They might be repurbish it. 1927 is not new. It's not new. But look at that one. Maybe it's just a nice stone. You know, like some yeah, stone yeah, that yeah. is really shiny. Oh my god, it stretched along that way there. My eyes can't see. This is really a graveyard, you know? I know. But it's a graveyard when on the Black Plague. It's 1922. Yeah, obviously. Because that was 1992, but, so it's really a cemetery. Yeah, but mostly the mostly one. That if you've got family here that is buried, you can be buried here. Mm. If you got right. family, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So their family lives here, died in that place. You yeah, can't, yeah. you can't go, you can't That's have. That's why there are like some new ones. Some new ones, but it's not really new, new. Yeah. I thought it's okay, now I can't hit a bench. <laughs> well, it can be. It can be as peaceful as you get. <laughs> you know, no one will disturb you here. <laughs> Who else will disturb you? No one. <laughs> Honestly. I would rather, like. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, I'll tour you in the cemetery. This is. The cemetery, oh, cemetery look like. 
here in England. Siyo kailang mga cementerio dali, mga friends, mga lovelies. Mga lovelies! My lovelies! Lay siya kayo ilang kano, kita kasi ilahang kuhan. Di man nyo, no need. Mahal kayo dis, mas mas lay siyo pas Pilipinas. Wala yung mga apartment. Wala yung mga apartment. Muna yung cemetery. Lagi ko ayun na adirin. Di kay Ana, ehm, paan ba? Patong patong. Patong patong. Oo. Okay, wala na ko lang sa Pilipinas. Oh, save pa. Save pa sa, kung ano yan nung di man eh, mag-lysure dyan na, mag-isa-isa dyan. Kaya mo, balik ka mag-gapon ka sa, kung ano diba, balik ka sige mag-ka, mahihim mo mag-gapon kang nutrients sa land. Right? Ano, 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 sa Pilipinas, eh, patong-patong na lang. So, we're touring you, my lovelies, in a cemetery in AM. Well, basically, why we went here, because part of the cemetery is you can actually... No, no, you can go here. You can turn around. Part of the cemetery here, in this cemetery, is where the plague... Um, people who died in the plague, the Black Plague, back in 1666. That's how far it goes. So, but... This, this is how it looks like the cemetery here in in England. So you know what I know? Hmm. And save save of space can I know? I think it dapat ang dapat ang 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 Kasi panganan na nin ka ng Masileyo. Masileyo. Murabag. Padakan na yung kasi. Forever na balay. Dari wala man kayo. You will go back to where you're from. You know? You always go back to. Dust to dust. Dust to dust. I think that's for children. I think. Yeah. I think it is. Have a look. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is the new ones. Or maybe this is like when you are. Di ka nang transfer na ba? Yeah. No, 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 no. Diba? Maybe if you are like cremated and you want to be buried. Some people want to be cremated and then buried. You know what I mean? Mm. But they don't want to keep their family. They don't want to keep their family in their houses. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Um, how it looks like the cemetery here I in England. <laughs> no, it's not really bang mayaman. I think it's simple and you know, like very straightforward, yeah, but, basic, but, and but you know, it's clean. Yeah. Is it? Oh, ato dey kaskarita na di kaya makita ng nani skarita. What do you know? In a public one, if you are buried in the ground, it's cheaper than if you are in not in the ground. Do you know that? Do you know that back in Philippines, it's cheaper when you're buried in the ground. But here in England, it's opposite. If you're buried in the ground, it's actually expensive. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I know. It's expensive here if you're buried in the ground. But if you're cremated, it's cheaper. But in the Philippines, it's, it's, cremated, it's other way around. Yeah, it's other way around. Yeah, it's other way around. This is um, called Rose Cottage. This is a house back in 1666 that um, nine of the family member died in plague so they live here during the black plague and nine of their family member died how sad is that yeah yeah what's he said oh plague cottage Before leaving, just outside the village is the Riley Graves located. One of the most tragic stories about the plague in Eam is what happened to the Hancock family. These six open gravestones and tomb enclosed by a stone wall are actually the graves of the whole Hancock family. In the space of a week, the only person left was Mrs. Elizabeth Hancock, who had to carry or drag the corpses of her loved ones, dig a grave and then bury them on the hill.